is the Lipocyte IR. This is our uh, new powdered fat burner from Epigen. It's an instant release fat burner. So um, I actually started taking this in my 2016 Olympia prep before we would actually release it to the public. But it's a very high thermogenic, very, very good quality stem. Yeah, I take it every morning, all year actually. So this makes me feel really good. Gets me sweating in my cardio and gets me really like laser focused. Morning cardio started for me. We're 15 weeks out from Olympia. So fastest cardio started last week. We're head over to the gym, get on the treadmill and uh, get about 30 minutes knocked out. I've been out through my cardio the past week now, consistently every morning. It's a matter of getting back a routine for me. But uh, this is my first rodeo. This is number number five Olympia this year, going for my fourth title. So uh, this is nothing new. It's the work that needs to be done to win again. Time for breakfast. I swear that girl's hair is everywhere. Everywhere. I always pull an enormous hair off me. Okay, I'll do it this way. So you guys can see. You see that? Alright. So 199 in the morning. Got shorts on, 198 ish. It's not bad. I was 203 when I went to bed last night. That was right after cardio. I sweated a lot, so I probably woke up around 200. Very good place at 15 weeks out. I'm not too fat. This is actually probably my best starting point I've had in any of the years competing. Really good off season. Best place I've been mentally, that's for sure. So, you guys better watch out. It's not an Old Spice commercial. <laughs> I promise. I spent a lot more focus this whole year. That's the right been the biggest thing is being focused and just taking care of the things I needed to take care of and that's you know not missing my training, training hard, training smart, you know, watching my food to a certain degree, getting my cardio in consistently. Just mentally, like I said, I'm in a lot better spot. At this level of competition, like it's not just going and it's not a hobby anymore. You're not just going and hanging out at the gym. Like I see guys go to the gym. With their buddies and they're just talking and laughing in between sets and then it, you know I'm over here and I, it's hard training in between sets I'm, I'm gasping for air you know mentally preparing for my next set and that's a different level of you know, bodybuilding and competing and especially at the Olympia stage you got to be that way when you're competing especially if you want to win and um, that mentality is what I've been carrying through all year long not just during preparation time I've been going to the gym and battling every single day since I got back from my surgery in January. So I'm hungry this year. This is the best version of, of myself on stage. I know that for sure. And uh, I just keep getting, keep working harder every single day. And it's, I'm not going to stop until that day comes. We gotta literally clean out our little. It's all your candy. Come out for your show. I, you know, I can, I can have all that stuff in there and not touch it on prep. I'm fine. Him, on the other hand, no way. She goes to these different countries and she stocks up on all these candies. These are my. These are my. Other than the pies. Oh, they're they're done. And you just left the empty bag in there. There's like four or five left. Oh my gosh. That type of stuff's gotta stop today, so babe, we gotta clear that out. Wait. I can't have I can't have things in the house. Like when I start prep, I gotta throw everything away. I can't have anything in the house. I sleepy. I I'll eat in the middle of the night and I don't even know I'm eating. She'll like she'll like come out and I'll be like half asleep. Just like I'll find like little crumbs of like chips or something on the floor. 
next to where he was sleeping. That's horrible. Or, okay, this is another good one. Peanut butter, nuts and more. They send us like jars of just flavored nuts and more. Nope. There'll be a spoon full. Just you know what? No. Okay, from, to, from, to, to my defense here, I go, babe, you're sponsored, nuts and more, you can't have them send me anymore. Babe, they're, they're gonna send me some. Okay, you need to take them and hide them. She's okay. So, this isn't here, this is at her old place. You know where she hides them? Right here. Oh, they're still here! <laughs> Look how much fucking peanut butter we have. Like, it's unnecessary. <laughs> well, now I really gotta get rid of those because now you know they're in there and he's gonna just start eating that next. I almost fell like trying to jump off the counter. <laughs> dry oats, oatmeal and egg whites, and then um, I'll probably eat another meal in about an hour. Do my cardio fasted, especially on prep. Oh, did I get a chunk? I think you did, I, I, I heard it. These are egg whites, and you gotta avoid the chunks. I think I heard a chunk, so I'm gonna fish it out. If you get a chunk in your egg whites, it's possibly the most disgusting thing you're going to experience in your life. Oh, there it is. Oh, I thought it was like this. That's like 36 grams of protein right there. I've done this almost every morning since I was like 17 years old. You know, I do it all the time. She really so, easy. I can't. I can't eat egg whites anymore. She was so grossed out the first time mm -hmm. I, I surrendered. So I can't believe you do that. Like just try it. And now it's, it's, it's not that bad. I can do. It's not that bad. I don't no. even eat egg whites anymore. It takes too long, and I don't like the texture of egg whites. <laughs> Every time he just sits there, like, I'm sitting on the couch, like, this mind my own business. She'll sneak up behind me and pop right on the forehead. His dad taught me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. You'd be proud. Goodbye. I always, like, you always catch me punching her under. <laughs> we are going over to my brother's and we're going to get the dogs and take them to the dog park. You guys haven't met Flex yet, but, uh, or Cody. They are boxers. They've been staying at my brother's house. Since I moved out here to Long Beach, what, almost three years ago now? Two, three years ago? So it's nice that I finally have my dog back down here. Good to see him every day. So, my older brother just moved down to Orange County about two weeks ago. And uh, he's now working with me, handling a lot of my, my sales, my management for my website and stuff. So, it's cool to have him down here. But he didn't just move to Orange County, he moved into the same apartment complex as me. As me. So, he's got to walk. Along this path here, and it's right around the corner. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is my sister in law, Shannon. Hi. This is Blake, and this is Noah. Say hi, guys. Say, say hi. hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Good job. Yeah, we got the spaz. This is Cody. That's flex. like 13 we played football midget football and I was probably what like maybe four or five years old my parents were leaving me babysitting me 
and we go to the front lawn. He put on all this vlog gear on me. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows what I'm going to say. Yep. We go out on the front lawn, and I'd have these big old shoulder pads on me, this helmet, and I'm like, maybe this, this big, and he pushed me down on the ground on my back. And the shoulder pads were so big, I'd be stuck on the ground, I couldn't get up. And I'd be stuck on the ground crying, help me, help me. And he just left me in the front lawn. He walked inside and left me there, <laughs> trying, trying to get up with this football gear on me. You know, my parents got home. We got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so Nick, he's back on his, his fitness grind. He came down here and he uh, got started back in the gym with me. Nick and I used to work out together growing up. He actually, like, him and my dad got me into it. He was, did a lot of lifting when he was in high school and like what, two years after we graduated, we were still really into it. And um, so I'd watch him train at the gym. I'd go with him and I'd try to keep him from the gym when I was like, what, 12 or 13. And that's where like I fell in love with training actually. He, um, he stopped for a little while, but now he's back in training. He's already lost like 10 pounds in the past week of being here. So he's got like 30 to go. She is shredded. But it's funny because his friend's back home. Like, Nick can never have a six pack. And I'm like sitting there, I'm like, wanna bet? <laughs> One year, six pack. Shirtless by Olympia. That's the goal. Pool party. Pool party. Pool party. Just don't want to feel out of place. Meal two. I'm starving right now, actually. So I want to get one more meal in before we hit the gym. Got some tilapia. Some white rice. Little tricks. We've been competing for a long time. I ate microwave tilapia for like four years straight. It's not something anybody wants to do with their life. No mas. No mas. About 19, almost 20. Oh my gosh, she was a little baby. A long time ago. That was our first trip to LA together. This is, no, this was uh, Contra wow, Costa. Contra Look Costa. at you. That's when I was Jeremy's age. Team bodybuilding. Yeah, team bodybuilding. Team uh, bodybuilding in 2000, 2008, 2010. Oh, 2010, yeah. I and mean, he started competing when he was 16, 17. 17. And ever since then, he's always competed. So, yeah, it's been interesting to see his evolution over the last like seven years pretty crazy and then it's surreal at the same time I mean like walking down the street now that I'm down here and seeing his day-to-day -day life like walking down the street with him and we're driving or driving by and having the window roll down and someone being like Jeremy <laughs> Are you know that guy he's like nope <laughs> so it's pretty cool to see that like, you know you, you hear about it sometimes but like you're not you don't really know until you're there so very proud of him I believe in everything he does you know Ever since I've known him, which is my entire life, but you know, especially in his adult life, um, everything he's put his mind to, he's always accomplished. And so, um, you know, when, when he said he's gonna win Olympia, like you believe him, <laughs> you know. Narvin asked me to cook her fish. I didn't have enough room in my pan, so try to make it work. You might get a little rice in there, fish. I guess no way there. Probably should have. You hit me in the forehead. <laughs> I drink this during my training. It's uh, two scoops of glycogen. It's our fast-acting carbohydrate for Evogen. It's gonna help restore my muscle, like, muscle glycogen levels when I'm training. Like when you're working out, and at the beginning of the workout, you're nice and full, you feel good, and then towards the end, you start to you know, flatten out a little bit. Drinking this during my workout will help prevent that from happening. And this is also my cell cam, which is a BCAA, and it's also got arginine, glutamine, and leucine in here, as well as electrolytes. This to help keep my pump during my workout as well. And, um, Help my body anabolic. So awesome products. We're gonna take this in the car, EVP, EVP plus. I don't wanna take it too soon because it's a 20 minute drive to the gym. So we'll take it in the car. Or right here, 15 weeks. So. We are 
are at my sanctuary, Huntington Beach Family YMCA. It's funny whenever I tell people about YMCA. You train at a YMCA? Yeah, I'm right, I train at a YMCA. So this is where I prepped for Olympia last year. This is my favorite gym in Orange County. You walk in, it doesn't look like very much. It looks like a YMCA. But it actually used to be a goals gym about like seven or eight years ago. So the back room is where all the, all the action goes down. Everywhere I've tried to train my life, this has been my all-time favorite gym. got back from China like what, a week and a half ago, babe? Mm -hmm. And we had an awesome trip out there. We did a seminar for 12 days. Went to Beijing, Shenzhen, and Shanghai. We taught at their academies. And uh, the gym owner, he uh, gave me a gift. It's a Chinese pimp stamp. <laughs> so <laughs> back in the day, the kings used this to, to sign their name. And uh, it's a heavy, it's a real, Pimp stamp right here. Chinese pimp stamp. Well, that's my name in Chinese. It says the king of fitness, Jeremy. And like you take your drink and then that's how you sign your name. Thank you for coming to China. We really appreciate you. You are number one. Go for war for four. Love everyone in China. <laughs> that's pretty good. That was good. That's good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there are something along those lines. You see too, there's turmeric in here, it helps with inflammation as well. Something that Hani recommended to me. That, the ultimate digestive enzyme, you guys, quality. Especially on prep, when your eyes are eating all that, all that food, all the chicken, all the protein, this is how your body get, you know, breaks it all down. It keeps you regular. <laughs> I'll do my cardio right now and I'll start taking my food. And, and I think I was there when you guys first did your whole, uh, the whole show. I think it was like 2014, 13. Oh, you went to Olympia? Yeah, when, when they first like presented it up in Memphis. 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. We're at my favorite restaurant during prep. Pocateria. So that's what Pokey is. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. It's delicious. So I get, I get three scoops of salmon, two scoops of tuna. Because the salmon has got more fat in it, more calories. very dedicated to competing come September. You know, I got a goal that I set for myself. And like I do every single year, that's to win the show. And 
I got a lot of guys that are chasing me. I got to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to be out training them and out working them in the days leading up. So uh, as you guys can see, I'm pretty locked in right now, focused, had a good workout today, got top of all my meals, and um, you guys will be seeing a lot more of me in the next few months. I'm very hungry, very eager to get back on stage. Competing once a year isn't enough for me, but that's all we can do for now. And uh, I'm just looking forward to showing you guys the new improved version of Jeremy Buendia in 2017.